As you see here, this is the smallest unit uh, of the spine, the so-called motion segment. The motion segment consists out of two vertebras. In between the two vertebras, we see the structure that we call uh, the disc. Uh, this is in the front, the vertebral body. And on the back, we do see two joints at each uh, segment, the left and the right facet joint. The three, these three elements, the two facet joints and the disc in the front, allow the motion of the segment. Each segment adds approximately 20% to the overall motion of the lumbar spine. So that means we have five segments, we have five discs, and uh, with, uh, together with all the vertebras, we allow to reach approximately 35 to 40 degrees flexion and extension capability in the lumbar spine. As you see here in the next model, where we have uh, three motion segments uh, in the row, we see if the patient is, or the person is bending backwards, we see a very comprehensive motion pattern. That means we see uh, motion in the disc as well as we see motion at the facet joints. Bending backwards means we are compressing our joints as well as we are compressing areas where the nerves are normally exiting the foramina, and we create a narrowing of the posterior intervertebral distance. If we are bending forward, we do the opposite thing. We are narrowing the anterior portion of the uh, disc, we are flattening out the vertebrae and we are increasing the size of the foramina as well as we are unlocking the facet joints. So this is uh, the important message to understand motion preservation that we will talk later on.